good day to you today also the word and the vision of the lord came to us uh, king solomon solomon had become king in jerusalem come to the city of zion with on david's mule this king had come uh, then uh, the context the scripture is from 1 kings chapter 1 <coughs> Verse 37, as the Lord has been with my king, the Lord, Lord the king, so may he be with Solomon and make the, his throne greater than the thrones of my Lord the king. So Sadok, priest, Nathan the prophet, Benaiah the son of Jehoiada, the Cherithites, and the Pelithites went down and had Solomon ride on King, David, king David's mule and brought him to Gihon. All the people went up after him and the people were pl playing on flutes and rejoicing with great joy so that the earth shook at their noise. So here is the context and what the Lord said is there is a time that he is choosing the humble and he will promote them. And we must not despise the day of small beginning. The mule was a humble animal. But all the things we do in the name of the Lord, the humble things, the prayer altars, the difficult things brings royalty to pass, brings a royal position to us. And Bathsheba was a woman uh, wrongly treated and she had no hope. Uh, David had wives, they were the, the daughters of kings of other countries. But God looked after the interest of Bathsheba and her son Solomon was to be king and he became king. So this is the time God looks at sons and daughters from lowly background and promoting into his kingship and he will uh, honor women uh, put aside like Bathsheba we have a long record of women like that in the Bible Rahab, Ruth who were brought into the messianic line and above all of them Bathsheba himself herself uh, Solomon's mother and Solomon was brought to kingship though Bathsheba was wrong so what David did wrong God did it right so David was also reprieved from his villainous behavior and Bathsheba was looked after and a poor boy who would have been who he who would have been a poor boy was brought to kingship that's the way God brings so we will trust the Lord to bring Zion to a position of favor position of authority and many sons and daughters born of God will come to regal position God positions and hold authority in the nations uh, so this is the story for Zion, how God promotes the citizens of Zion. His foundation is in his holy mountain. This Psalm 87. Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the other dwelling places of Jacob. So may it go into the heart of God's people to love the house of God, love the dwelling place of God and never forsake the house though there is now uh, a restriction that very soon when churches are open for physical meeting that you will not hold back saying we have got used to the online method you know we know many people run to work many uh, uh, heads of uh, institutions they want people to report to work saying uh, otherwise the momentum will go down people will lose their interest how much more the kingdom of God how much more the house of God that people should desire to come into the house of God the Lord loves the gates of Zion more than all the other dwelling places of Jacob. So Christian, don't miss this point. Also, it is a point that uh, for parents who are not well to do and you are worried about your children's education, when you are marked for Zion, God looks after the citizens of Zion. Uh, it's a good intention that you should have your children being educated, but don't sweat it out, uh, but bless it out. Expect the blessing of the Lord to take our children to a, uh, uh, to a good place, to, to, to the fullness of their destiny. Uh, Psalm 87 verse 3, Glorious things are spoken of you, O city of God. So where do we seek our glory? Where do we place our fame? How shall we become glorious? May it be that going from grace to grace, from faith to faith, from glory to glory, that that would be glory for us. What the Lord has kept for us in his call, what the Lord has kept for us in his work, may we think that's glory. Doing God's thing best, let that be glory. Because God keeps the count. 
I mentioned Rehab and Babylon among those who know me. So God is writing an honor call, a glory call, a glory roster, whom he will honor. And he's putting down Rehab there, putting down Bathsheba there. Those who have no great name in the world, but God is putting their name down, that they were excellent in his service. What do you think about that? Ask yourself, which role of honor do I have my name listed? I shall behold Philistia and tie with Ethiopia. This one was born there. So even those nations, the world has their role call of honor and God has his role of honor. But of Zion it shall be said, this one and that one were born in her and the Most High himself will establish her. Let that be our distinction. The Lord will count when he registers the people. This one was born there. Th then those who sing as well as those who play the flute say, all my springs of joy are in you. And we say, Lord, let the fountains of Zion be in me and we will not allow the rivers of Babylon to pervade and 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 uh, ruin our inside appetite. No rivers of Babylon. We know Psalm 137 by the rivers of Babylon. There we sat down and wept when we remembered Zion. Upon the willows in the midst of it we hung our harps, for there our captors demanded of us songs. Zion has gone to captivity. And our tormentors mirth saying, sing us one of the songs of Zion. How can we sing the Lord's song? in a foreign land, if I forget you, O Jerusalem. So we are, we are concerned and we will certainly see that it's not rivers of Babylon that run through us, but the fountains of Zion. May the Lord greatly encourage you with the, we you know in, in Revelation 14, we are shown the Mount of Zion, the city of Zion, those who went with the Lamb of God wherever. And when Zion's number is counted and finished and done and accomplished, completed, then begins the other events that will follow. So Zion are those of God's people who kept the word of God with all their life. So we have this promise in Isaiah 4 that that mountain will rule the world. Promotion comes not from the west, east or the south, but from the Lord. So Isaiah 4 has this that big part in Isaiah 2 now I will come about now it will come about Isaiah 2 now it will come about in the last days the mountain of the house of the Lord will be established as the chief of the mountain and will be raised above the hills and all the nations will stream to it we know there are different mountains in the world in that particular prototype seven mountains government you know entertainment the education uh, sports, you know, big mountains where people become famous. And sometimes Christians also get carried away with the fame the world will see. But there's a fame heaven will see. Let's pitch ourselves for the fame of heaven, the glory of heaven, to be counted where, where God honors us. Uh, and then the word of the Lord, come, come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the Lord God of Jacob, that he may teach us concerning his ways, and that he may walk in his paths. Uh, for the law of law, for the law will go forth from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. May we be in that counter where we are ruling with Christ. When we speak His word, the counsel of the ungodly will be erased off. When we speak His word, pray His word, the way of sinner will be replaced with the lamp of the Lord, and which is a lamp unto the path of the people. And when we speak the word, the authority of God's word is holding, the seed of the scornful will be dismantled and nations will know righteousness and nations will run to the feet of our Lord Jesus Christ. So it's in our obedience that God will, when our obedience is complete, 2 Corinthians 10, 4 says, when our obedience is complete, God will punish the wicked and he will turn down the strongholds with our obedience, this is the thing, God takes our obedience into his hand and he turns down the strongholds. 2 Corinthians 10, 4, for the weapons of our warfare are not of the flesh, but divinely powerful for the destruction of fortresses. 
we are destroying speculation and every false lofty thing raised up against the knowledge of god we are taking every thought captive to the obedience of christ and we are ready to punish all disobedience whenever your obedience is complete that's how god works also when our obedience is complete the obedience of christian becomes a city on the hill full of light and that rules the nations that rules over the iniquities of the nations and a way of righteousness begins to be seen because god can show up his nation his house as the city of light this is how nations will learn obedience this is the meaning of setting up god's king in the hill of zion the famous uh, famous theme of psalm 2 god's uh, god's king in zion why are the nations in uproar people's devising a vain thing psalm 2 what will the lord do and when the when the, when the rulers are saying global dinosaurs are saying we will write the laws we will make industry out of health and ill health we will make the viruses and we will plan the pandemic the global elite are saying that he who sits in the heavens laughs the lord scoffs at them psalm 2 verse 4 then he will speak to them in his anger as for me i have installed my king upon zion my holy mountain that's god's solution the zion will rule god's city will rule god's people will rule ask of me i will surely give the nations as your inheritance and the very ends of the earth as your possession so this is how zion will rule worship the lord with reverence rejoice with trembling do homage to the sun and he will rule in the nations he will rule in our decrees he will rule in our declarations he will rule in our intercessions god will rule the nations god bless you we will be the zion of god and we will be in god's role of honor god bless you and encourage our children and our grandchildren to seek the honor of the lord in their life and the blessing of the lord will promote them in jesus name we say amen god bless you God keep you